This is Fox 21 News at 9. And earlier today at the deck, it was the first responders who were learning new things. The Arrowhead EMS conference gave them a chance to learn about new equipment, take classes, listen to speakers, and find out about the most up-to-date training techniques. Well, for EMS people, it's an, uh, it's an affordable conference. Uh, they can come out and they can get a lot of education in a short amount of time. The conference was a way for first responders to continue their education, which is required to maintain their certifications. But it was also a chance for them to check out new products and network. Duluth hospitals have received hefty grants that will help them improve care for heart attack patients. The American Heart Association awarded Essentia Health and St. Luke's Hospitals a little more than $100,000 each for EKG equipment into ambulances. Officials say the modern technology will help first responders diagnose major heart attacks in patients. So you could be way up in the boundary waters and we could be looking at your EKG within seconds and decisions could be made that would be life-saving for this patient to get them hopefully the, the right tri treatment as quickly as possible. The grant is part of the American Heart Association's mission to provide better care for heart attack patients throughout rural Minnesota. Earlier this You're watching the KBJR 6 and Range 11 News at 10 with Michelle Lee, Kevin Jacobson, Chief Meteorologist Adam Clark, Sports with Zach Schneider, and special reports from Barbara Riles. This is the KBJR 6 and Range 11 News at 10. The American Heart Association has awarded more than $200,000 in grants to Duluth hospitals to improve outcomes for heart attack patients. Essentia Health St. Mary's Duluth and St. Luke's were awarded $108,000 each as part of Mission Lifeline, a community-based initiative aimed at improving care of heart attack patients that live in rural areas throughout Minnesota. The funds will be used to purchase 12 EKG machines for emergency medical staff on ambulances. This will enable EMS providers to identify a STEMI heart attack, the most serious type of heart attack. That information will be transmitted to either Essentia or St. Luke's to make sure doctors are prepared when these patients arrive at the hospital. Doctors at both hospitals say this will ultimately save lives. We're the only two hospitals in a very large region, all the way to the west to the Bemidji and to the south, the Twin Cities, that can take care of patients like this. So to be able to diagnose these patients, bring them here that much quicker, will save lives and, and, and make their lives much better and our jobs easier. If we recognize it sooner, you might be out of the hospital in two days and literally weeks down the road, you might not even realize you had a heart attack. So that's, that's exciting, actually. Bemidji, St. Cloud, and Mankato will be also getting these grants to improve care for rural heart attack patients. A program that Live from the WDIO Broadcast Studios, this is Eyewitness News at 6 on WDIO WIRT. Finally tonight, the American Heart Association has awarded hundreds of thousands of dollars to improve the outcomes for heart attack patients in the Northland. The group is giving Essentia Health St. Mary's Medical Center and St. Luke's Hospital $108,000 each to put EKG machines in ambulances. It's part of an effort to begin treatment sooner for people suffering from the most serious type of heart attack. St. Mary's and St. Luke's both will be set up to receive these EKGs as they're transmitted from the field. So you could be way up in the boundary waters and we could be looking at your EKG within seconds and decisions could be made that would be life-saving for this patient to get them hopefully the, the right tri treatment as quickly as possible. The money is part of the Heart Association's effort called Mission Lifeline to improve the system of care for heart attack patients throughout greater Minnesota. That's what's making news, weather and sports at this hour. We'll keep an eye on things and update you tonight at 10. See you then.